been part of the project since when it has started since 2003 to date. Um, when I was first calling to participate, I did not know much about what we are going to do. But as things go on along, I was able to figure out that what we, are, what we will be discussing will be on um, the knowledge, value, attitude and practice of adolescents with uh, disabilities. And uh, they will, we will learn more about their rights and responsibility concerning sexual and reproductive health. So, as time goes on, um, we were trained in different areas um, on how to, as guardians counselor in the schools, on how to use this material during our teaching. So the material, I could say, is much, much beneficial to me and also to the student because it is much student-friendly and teaching-friendly because there are a lot of activities in each of the topics that was introduced in some of the books because there are some books that were given to all the guidance counselors. I make use of those books during my teaching, especially looking at the sex and sexual abuse. I look at all the measures that were stated in the books and talking about teenage pregnancy, I was able to relate to my students the effect and then what will happen if they have unprotected sex and if they are pregnant before they are ready and uh, what will happen to them. And we go furthermore to teach to them. I went furthermore to teach to them um, the use of various contraceptives. We did some demonstrations. We, I showed them some samples and um, we had some group discussions. And believe you me, they are able to even contribute more, teach me some names, apart from the actual name you will call vagina, penis, and so on. They have their own special names to call all these things. Um, I would say I learned from them and they learned from me. So it was very good.